Hello once again YouTube and welcome to It's Star Wars Day! Yes, it's Star Wars Day! Happy Star Wars Day everybody! And today we will be, re and for today we will be reviewing two set Lego sets. And first, and they're both related to Battlefront, so Billy Bonus. So the first one we're going to cover is Star is the Imper the Galactic Empire Battle Pack from as from from Lego Star War the the Winter Range for Lego Star Wars for Lego Star Wars for the Lego Star Wars line and and this and first let's cover the packaging I I bet you know what the packaging looks like by now okay nice cover art I would say there's Kylo Ren even though this, uh, this set has nothing to do do with Kylo Ren, and there's an, a little bit of an explanation of what the hell you can do with the set, and there's a barcode, it's a barcode, and then you can go to lego.com forward slash Star Wars to find out more. So, let's just have a look, let's just get, get the set out of the way and look at the figures Jesus Christ do these do these like to like to well oh. so up first is the the stormtrooper as you can see it's using the same it's using the same helmet mold as as the original stormtrooper figures, but this time it's got weathering on it, as you can see, and the base is a little bit more sinister, like he's e evil, like he's evil or something. And of course, there's wear and tear because this is this is a, this is a set based on Stoll's Battlefront and, and in Stoll's Battlefront, the Stormtroopers. Well, when they've been through the, through the whole round, they look a little bit like this, because people try and kill them. Now, we still have the angry clone head, which makes still makes no sense yeah but it, it makes sense that they put the angry clone head onto a guy like this clone trooper here but not on a stormtrooper because stormtroopers are not clones for crying out loud they're stormtroopers not clone troopers Jesus Christ, is that hard to, hard to do? Like, I'm not even talking about, uh, uh, I'm not even talking about just Hasbro. People in general get Stormtroopers and, uh, no, uh, Stormtroopers and Clone Troopers mixed up. Is it that hard? Seriously, is it that hard? God, I hate some people sometimes. And also, he comes with a flip, a, a stud shooter. There we go. And now I've lost it. Oh, such a shame. Now I'll try and find it. And, oh wait, I found it. What's this wizardry? And also, he comes with a nice nifty jump pack. Now, in the game Battlefront, a jump pack is 
a star card that you can get you can get if you have enough money and you're a certain rank I'm not really sure and it and it does what it says in the tin it flies you from so when you're getting shot by say a, this rebel trooper like you're saying oh god a bit oh <laughs> And oh god, I'm going to die right now. He, he says, and it's like, <laughs> now it doesn't go o over there to say the least. But you can go now. You can go about your. You can go about your business. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along. Move along. There you go. And that's basically what it is. Now, this tile piece, I think, is exclusive to this set. Just hold on a second, I'll try and fetch out a figure. And, yes it is! It's ex This tile piece is exclusive to the set. But I've confirmed that. And now I can see it. And not this mold, it's exclusive to two sets. Um, uh, not this mold, but uh, that's exclusive to two sets. But at least the tile piece is exclusive to two sets. So that's a, a thumbs up from me. And uh, that's basically him. I have to explain everything, don't I? So next, and also you get two of them. So next stop is the Shock Trooper. An Imperial Shock Trooper, to say the least. Now, you may be wondering if you're a fan of the Clone Wars, but never watched Star uh, never played Star Wars ba Battlefront. Why is there a Storm Trooper with red markings uh, with shock trooper markings and the answer is this these are some dudes from Star Wars Battlefront they're the bodyguards of Emperor Palpatine they're like in combat they're like royal guard they replace royal guards in combat because Royal Guards guard Emperor Palpatine whilst he's out and about and not fighting anybody directly. Who's not uh, it, not including that scene in the Death Star, the second one, not the first one. So this dude, he's he's basically the. He's got the same body as the last dude. In, instead, n none of that, um, none of those wear and tears. Instead, we have red markings that resemble the uh, the Repub the Phase Two Shock Trooper. You got you got the line going through the middle. You got the you got the, uh, well, you got the red stuff. It's basically a shock trooper decals on a, on a stormtrooper body. Yeah. And, of course, he has the sinister smile. <laughs> That's getting off topic. Sorry, I just love an evil laugh. So, this is a short trooper. And also, the stud shooters actually have a... Uh, I don't know what you would call that, to be honest. But they have that. So, yeah, you can go over there. We like you. Up next 
is not a playable character from Star Wars Battlefront. It's a, it's an Imperial officer. It is, cause, and he looks concerned. Can you tell? And instead, and he has the normal stud shooter, which is good for him. We have this head. Oh, uh, and I forgot. He, the Imperial shop trooper, as what well, has the has the um, clone head. So, uh, detracting points from him now. Uh, and this Imperial officer looks pretty cool. He does. He got this. He got his brown and but the only thing that is bad about this dude because the rest of the figures are based on on Star Wars Battlefront and this will go for this go goes for this uh, goes to to the Rebel Alliance battle pack that I'm going to be viewing later on this day as well T one of the characters in each set you do not play as in the rebel uh, in Star Wars Battlefront which is such a shame but, you know is is your imperial officer you Standard ordinary Imperial officer. Let's get him out of the way. Now let's look at the set itself. It's not that really impress. It's not really impressive to be honest. And here's a flick fire missile. What I think let's call it. I I, I don't know what you call these. And they're like it's basically like. Stud shooters only with these weird laser things, and they're much better than stud shooters, but they take away from the realism of it, just like stud shooters. And also, you can just buy them and you can replay, replenish them if you need to replenish them if you'd lost them in your floorboards. Come on! Ah, not, not budging. And also, we got two stud shooters here. I didn't, I didn't. It, these don't come in the set. I just put them here because I wanted to. I didn't want to make this video as mess, m m uh, more messier than it is right now. And yeah, they can fire and. Nothing much. This isn't really the most impressive um, set they've done. It, this, it, yeah, at least there's no stickers in the set, which is good for you. Then, and also you can detach. The, 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 you can detach the. The flick fire missile rocket from the 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 actual command station. Well, I think it's a command station. It could actually be something else. And the habit be manned by one of your stormtroopers, like this dude here. You can man it and rotate it around, or even it could you could be guarding it and make. And making sure it's not working for the Rebel Alliance. Now, this set, you're mainly getting this set for the 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 actual figures themselves, and you're not getting the set for like the the actual set, like the actual build. The build was pretty easy to say the least. Yeah, and it and was pretty not really expensive to say the least. So uh, 
that's a review of